Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Elite Dangerous live stream here at youtube.com forward slash Elite Dangerous forward slash whatever the event link is, apparently. <laughs> Well, I'm here, my name's Ed, a part of the community management team here at Frontier Developments. And I'm joined by the one and only, that's not true, an executive producer at Frontier <laughs> Developments. Not the only one at Frontier Not the only one, but one of them. One of them. It's Adam. What's your middle name? Do you have a middle name? James. Uh, we're learning something new straight away. Look at that. Adam James, James Woods. So Adam James Woods, um, AJW, as you're known for sure. Are you excited tonight about... The revealing the the two new ships. There are two ships. new ships yeah. that are coming yeah. to. Yeah, it's always. Everyone loves new ships. New ships. Um, it's, a, it's a stalwart of, of new things, isn't yeah. it? On top of it's a bit of a cherry on top of all the uh, the things we've 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 seen and uh, revealed over the last That's three right. three streams. I can't believe it. This is the fourth the stream. Fourth obviously, stream. it is the last stream of the content reveals that we're doing. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice way to wrap it all up. I yeah. think with, like I say, sometimes the ships are kind of the main bit of content, but this is. Just part of part, what is so special yeah. about this this content we've yeah. got. Well, I mean, we, we'll go through that in a second. <laughs> but yeah. it is it is the two ships that we're going to be talking about tonight. Yep. We have, of course, the Crate Phantom, Ooh. and the ship that we well we <clears throat> formally announced earlier today. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the first play, uh, first play, first hearing right it, here. first seeing the inside of it properly, the engines, um, and we're away. also going to have a little bit of fun with them at the end, aren't we? I think that you're. We're gonna have a try and have a little, little canyon race. A little canyon race. Look. And then I'm gonna blow you out of the sky. Nobody has ever claimed that we're amazing pilots, right? Um, but no. we're gonna have some fun with it to yeah, show off being fun. used, yeah. basically. Yeah. Uh, but then you're gonna get your hands on it. Uh, is it next week that I get hands on it? Next week it ships, yep. Wow. Yep. What so you just got squadrons of minings. Minings. Squadrons of mining. <laughs> uh, next week is these fantastic ships we're gonna have a look at tonight. Yep. So the Great Phantom and the Mamba, which we're going to be showing off, again, some of you eagle-eyed commanders may have seen the Mamba out yeah, there in the wild a little earlier. I mean, sometimes those little snakes That's can a escape. That's little snake peak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and good on you for seeing it. Well done. well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. But tonight you'll hear it as well. Yeah. So great. See I'm how, looking forward to flies. showing those. And ones. also see what it looks like when it's um, heavily engineered, as yeah. mine is. Oh, my, my With Great Phantom. pretty, pretty well. strong top speed. Great stuff. So um, we'll get into that in just a moment, but I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who has played the uh, beta <coughs> or beta so far, yeah. uh, because it's absolutely invaluable, all of the feedback and all of the reports and uh, just everything that you've put through, whether that's on social media, on the forums, in, in the sort of official place where all that feedback is supposed to go. Adam, how useful has it been so far, it's the feedback? invaluable. In invaluable? That's correct. Right yep. um, absolutely. You know, that's the whole point of, of, of doing the open betas, is that we can get the feedback, the bugs, the, the everything that you guys um, find. And mm -hmm. then, uh, yeah, we, we chat through it, get as much as we can fixed, and uh, react to some of the feedback as well. In particular, we are, I know one of the... Uh, hot topics at the moment is the um, mining rewards mm -hmm. that's that's quite a lot of um, discussion around on that and we are looking at some of the balancing on that as well so yeah you know uh, news coming on that soon excellent, excellent yeah. stuff but right? yeah absolutely it's it's, um, it's invaluable for for, for the, the whole dev team to get to get the feedback and uh, the playthrough of, of the beta so thank you and keep playing keep keep jumping in and uh, testing it very cool um, why don't you talk through what we've revealed so far and all of the content. Remember that this is just, these two ships that were shown off tonight are just part of two um, parts a, a, a huge amount of content. Yeah. So talk us through what's, what, what we, what we, yeah, okay. What so we we've seen in so beyond? far in a, in a medium pace, not quite Gamescom, but medium pace, we've got the lighting changes um, and the new fog um, updates as well for the rings and the, the uh, Lagrange point clouds that you guys have been finding in in uh, in the beta. Uh, the cockpit streamlining and uh, updating for the UI there. Uh, exploration and including uh, removing the discovery scanner needing one of those slots. So we freed up a slot for the ships as well. So exploration including the planet probes as well as that. Uh, codex, uh, commander, stats, uh, archive, uh, the discovery, uh, the no yeah, the discovery section, the knowledge base with all the lore and the narrated uh, articles on that. We've obviously got the low cast, uh, localized Cobas uh, packs coming out as well. Uh, we saw the background sim improvements, so increasing the richness and the um, the tapestry of the background sim that you may or may not want to get involved in, but 
it has implications for everyone that's playing because it then feeds into things such as the new scenarios that we are um, uh, that you guys are playing with as well so that includes some of the new UI direction and feedback along with the VO as well then of course we've got squadrons which everyone is now getting involved with uh, since the beta 2 drop yesterday and mining so the new three new processes for extracting things out of the asteroids ultimately uh, ending in the mother loads as i think quite a few people have been having fun with so far uh, and the four new mining tools as well the pulseway scanner and then the the, the uh, three um, hard point tools that you need uh, and tonight of course we've got the two new ships and some of you will notice that we also update our uh, refreshed the uh, friends and uh, private group management screen mm -hmm. as well oh and you also now have system-wide chat and the ability to tab your chat channels in the comms pad as well Mm -hmm. Tab. Look at the panel. There's, there's all sorts. Lots. Uh, and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And tonight we're just going to show off, well, the last little piece of the puzzle to round it all off, round off these great live streams. And well done, first of all, I want to say to uh, you, Will, and Adam Burke quite as well for the first two streams, which were absolutely fantastic. And I want to thank you for the third uh, and fourth yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, also, um, apparently there's a couple of people in the chat just saying, hey, uh, there's the wrong link in the email and things like that. Actually, funnily enough, it's because when we created an, an event uh, for uh, the live stream, it was, uh, for some reason, it was unlisted. It's not something that, we, that, that we've come across before, so it might even be a new YouTube feature. But I've corrected that, apparently, so if you could inform people to press F5 and reload the page in the chat if you are here, actually seeing and hearing us, uh, and then they should be able to see it, should be able to see it fine now as well. Um, so mm. let's do let, let's do this. Let's jump. Let's, let's do jump this. in. Yeah. Um, uh, well. Oh, okay. I've got one thing to show you before one we go into the ships. Thing. And this is something. This thing I was saying about that you don't know about. So if you go to the SRV. Okay. So um, here's my SRV. It's very pretty, isn't it? I love my SRV. Um, you can jump into the cockpit now. Something that a lot of people have asked me um, over the years now. Can you believe it? I can say that over the years of Elite, lots of people have asked me. Um, this thing, uh, LaveCon, um, and I think the UI team also um, get asked it quite a lot of times as well. Um, and they alerted me to a little change they checked in the other day. <laughs> so now... I don't even know about this. If I turn my lights on, right. there's a little indication that I've got lights on in my oh, info I see bar. It. Oh, on top right. Yeah. You know what? I did see that before when you were playing around no, with it, and I was no. like... I thought, well, I just thought that maybe we'd already yeah. communicated it to people. It's a lovely little... And if I turn full beam on... Oh, it's a little full beam. Full beam. Yeah. And oh, this isn't just for the SRVs nice. either. This is in the ships as well. Oh. So, the ultimate feature out of Chapter 4 has to be coming <laughs> in Beyond Chapter 4. You now know <laughs> right. if your lights are on. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. I, I like it. That's the, that, and that's your favourite feature so yeah, far. Actually, it was, yeah, actually, certainly right. the UI team's favourite. Okay, well, that's fantastic. All right, so, Adam, what ship are we going to be showing off at first today? We are going to have a look at the Crate Phantom. Okay. So, switch it over. Here she is. Or he. So, the Falcon de Lacey Crate Phantom. Uh, it's a... Oh, you haven't given me focus on the game. About to start swimming around. Thanks. Uh, obviously, it's the, the sister ship to the, uh, the Mark II. It's a slightly stripped down version of it, um, so a little faster, a little lighter, um, but it does pack eight internal uh, optional slots, so um, it should be useful for a range of, of different roles and things. Uh, it doesn't have a ship uh, launch fighter bay, um, so that's obviously like leaning towards the uh, slightly faster, slightly um, uh, more powerful uh, in terms of firepower than, than the Mark II. It's got two large and two medium hard points. Uh, like I said, it's got the eight optional um, internals. Uh, top speed without engineering, which you have engineered this one, I believe. I have, yeah. Um, so stand top speed is about 256 meters a second with a boost of about 358. Um, around eight uh, light years FSD standard jump, um, ranging in the 37 million credit mark. Excellent. And um, I think for me, I love all the ships, of course I do, but I really like this one over the Mark II. It's my favourite one yeah, now. The design is. It's that. It's that very sleek looking rear end to it. I, it's. It's. Uh, yeah. Very nice stuff. Should we jump into the cockpit? Yeah, absolutely. And let's take her for a little spin around, shall we? Oh, that was quicker than I was expecting. <laughs> 
Right, now I've got to be careful because I don't want to give away the game about where I am just behind you. So let's go back into the vantage camera so you can see all the, the loveliness as we're flying along. So, oh, strayed too far from the uh, ship. So you can see the, the way the engines all light up there. You've got the little door, the little uh, exit hatch at the back. But I think we all want to hear it boost, right? The, uh, the default paint job on this is um, it's very nice. See the retro th thrusters there boosting to slow me back down. Looks beautiful. Maybe we should jump back inside and hear that boost again, hear some of those engine sounds. Let's do that then. So, here we go. So I'll be quiet at this point so everyone can hear. A quick look around the, uh, the inside of the ship as well. Uh, let's go. There we are. Turn the hands off. Beautiful Sounds ship. great. That crackle says uh, <laughs> Budaman. Damn, says Trash. The sound is awesome. Sounds angry. <laughs> it does. Uh, <laughs> Release it now, says Game of Insanity. I'm trading my mark to him for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Mustang. Sounds like a Mustang, yeah, that's right, yeah, I like that. Works. So, right, I'm going to bring Some this really down. Some wonderful, just... really wonderful sounds that are, I mean, because I'm hearing them back, I'm through my headphones right now. Yeah. Just the, the... And then the, the slowing down as well. <gasps> You're definitely uh -oh, going uh -oh, to crash. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Yay! Everyone wanted to, to see... And I blew everyone, the ship up! Everyone wanted to see that happen. That's, that, well that is, that everybody, that, that, that ladies and gentlemen, is, means it's time to move on very swiftly to the second of the ships that we're going to be showing off tonight. Yep. <laughs> I'll let you do some preparation and get things set up and ready to show it off. How about that? Thanks. And, um... <laughs> I'm so red, I'm <laughs> Oh, Everybody in the chat, please put in a huge round of applause for Adam. Some <clears throat> absolute love in the in the chat for Adam because that's not an easy thing to do on these live streams. And can I say, in four live streams of of, of playing, you've been doing some really intense <laughs> stuff. And that it's one, that I, one I do have to say, it's one. kind of ruined our plans for <laughs> playing against bit. each other. Yeah. So you're gonna have to do a canyon race. But luckily, look. <laughs> Look at that chat moving! Look at the speed! Uh, I got I somehow died again in the game and I wasn't even <laughs> flying myself. So that's oh, absolutely stunning stuff. That's not gonna that doesn't bode well for my um <laughs> if I am gonna try a canyon run on my own. Wow. Oh, good in in f I don't think that in four years I of doing it, I did. I had rebuy. <laughs> we can rebuy it. In, in, in four years of doing these live streams, I don't think that anything has happened quite like that on a reveal stream. So that's great. Well done, Adam. Right. So hey, what we at least to it goes do, to show that I wasn't faking it. I was no, flying no, it. No, no, it's myself. flying it for real. Oh no, no, no. It's, it, it's. I want absolute love in the chat, Adam, because it, it, you've flown so well over the last <laughs> of the last four streams. There was always going to be oh, one. Okay. Look. It's a live build. We're playing with live. Never play with. Never. Never. You know, you're not supposed to uh, do live television with animals. Don't fly, yeah. Don't do live television. Well, that's with, what happens with if you do with it with crates. We can get you. We can get you back All fairly right. quickly. Okay. So back. earlier on today, we uh, 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 announced uh, and and sort of officially revealed of sorts. Uh, with an absolutely lovely video that the, uh, I think it was PC Game actually had out as first as well, uh, and some details about this ship, with a really, really lovely video all about the Mamba. So without further ado, here once again, a fantastic video for the Mamba.
man is, she is in game. The, the Mamba. The Mamba. The Zora Peterson Mamba. Uh, so the law um, rightly fits it uh, that it's it was an un, unreleased uh, sort of racer ship, and I think you can certainly get that from its intent and from its uh, external uh, exterior uh, poise and uh, precision. I kind of um, I'll, I'll deploy the the hard points in a, in a moment. Um, I when I was looking at the sort of development of this in its various stages. I kind of I likened it a little bit to an A10 because of that hard. Uh, there's a huge hard point right at the back of the uh, the cockpit, which I'll uh, deploy in a second. And um, the, the 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 engines at the back. If I move around uh, the back, it's it's kind of built around these two things. Like the A10 was built around its big uh, cannon at the front front of the, the 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 plane. This is kind of built around these whacking great big engines out of the back here um, for its speed. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the huge hard point um, on the top of the ship as well, which uh, backs up its speed with a little teeth as well. So overall, um, there, I suppose there is a, a comparison with the, the, the Third Lance, both Lord Peterson, both uh, similar kind of size ships. Um, but the, the Mamba, as we can see here, um, is slightly faster than, than the, uh, the Third Lance. It's one of the fastest ships in the, in the game. Um, but it is it trades that speed off with a little bit of manoeuvrability. So the Fed Lance has got a bit more uh, man manoeuvering capabilities there. Um, hard point. So we've got the one huge hard point out the back uh, on top. Uh, two large, two small, five optional internal slots. Uh, a top speed standard, and you'll see how quick I've got this one up to, uh, of about 316 metres a second with a boost of 387. Um, 6.3 light year jump um, range, again standard. Uh, be around 55 million credits for this beautiful piece of engineering. I think we'll all agree. So just let us know in the chat what you think of it as well. Um, I think it looks pretty snazzy. Um, snazzy. I, I mean, that's not a cool word to use, is it? But it's one of those sorts of things. It's one of those... Um, Every single time we release a new ship, I'm like, oh, I think this is my favorite one. <laughs> Every single like, in terms of the design, I'm always like, this is this looks awesome. Yeah. Um, so let's yeah, let's take jump a look inside, inside the actually. cockpit. Go, that's, there we are. Nice. Uh, so here's the cockpit. Obviously, you've got my uh, uh, slightly cyborg-eyed guy, uh, <laughs> Hollow Me. Um, it's a very interesting cockpit. It's kind of got the the dual layers. So we've got the um, uh, the second seat up the back here, so you can look down. Um, on, on the on the pilot uh, yeah there's the second seat so let's get, get some the, good feedback in the uh, chat as well there uh, from saying some, some positive things about it which is very cool let's take off excellent jump range from standard is around three six hundred six six hundred six hundred light years it's not six point three light years <laughs> uh, right, let's, uh, let's deploy those hard points so you can see so here comes the hard points. <laughs> and look at that. Com look at the huge, <laughs> the huge uh, hard point compared to the incredible. ship. It's mad, isn't it? It's coming out over the top, almost the top of the back of the cockpit. Yeah. That would be terrifying. It really, look at how sleek it is from the side as well. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Small ship with a huge hard point? <laughs> uh, well, I think this is classed as a medium. Medium ship. Size, yeah. Right, but we all want to do some flying, don't we, with it? So let's let's get into a slightly different position here, and we'll, we'll get some speed going. We'll do some boost runs on the outside first of all. You can already tell it's going pretty fast. Like I say, I have got it um, quite heavily engineered, uh, including the modules, uh, including the engines and thrusters. Uh, let's just pick up a little bit there because I was about to crash into the ground again. <laughs> we don't want to be doing that now, do we? Right, let's get into the, ship, uh, the cockpit and do some boosting in here. So you can see that uh, with no pips, <laughs> yeah, 
no pips and engines, I'm still running at 321 meters a second. Um, if I put the full pips uh, engines with a heavily, like I say, grade 5 engineered uh, Warning. Um, Temperature critical. drives, I'm up to 304. And then with boost, which I'm going to be quiet for. So it's quick. It's a quick chip. Excellent stuff. And it does pack a punch as well with those, with that large on top as well. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it can pack it as well with others. Yeah. And as I was saying before with the lights, I've got my, uh, make sure that my external lights on. So now we've got the little icon at the bottom of the info panel. Turns out the lights on. <laughs> I like that. That's, and that, of course, it. it's is the most important it's thing. It's the most important thing. Uh, that, we've, that we've announced today. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, Adam, you may, you may have seen that, um, well, I sent you a, a, a wing oh, request yeah. as yep. well, because uh, I am in the system now with you. Uh, so if I just accept that, I can probably find you while you're showing off your phone around a bit around and answering some questions, questions about the ship in the chat. And then we can uh, finally come together, have that race, and watch us both explode uh, before we uh, end, the, end the stream tonight. Like I said, the tonight's uh, the stream much more about, uh, yeah, well, yeah, heat mops and things, we've got heat problems. Probably to do with the engineering. Uh, I've engineered, yeah, I haven't necessarily engineered it in the most uh, efficient way, should we say. Uh, it was done very quickly yesterday. Um, and I wasn't and looking, I wasn't for, looking balanced for a balanced approach, I was just trying to get some good things out of it. So, uh, so I'll try so and catch some questions if I can. There's lots of questions lots in the chat as well. Gonna crash, they all think we're gonna crash. I think you almost you almost are gonna crash. Yeah, probably. You've got to enable your window beacon for me, it'd be great. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Using, of course, the new features. Uh, so, what sort, uh, so what sort why don't we go through, we go through again while we're waiting as well? Uh, again, there's lots of, there's lots of questions and stuff questions like that. Uh, hold on uh, one second. Hold on mm. Apparently, there's an in game voice as well that we're using. Fantastic. It's all very good. Oh, with the oh, Sorry, yeah. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Yeah. Great. Can you do the same thing as well, please, Adam? Of course I can. This is all about communication, of course. There you are. Great. Turn up wing communication. Yeah, we've got it. We got it. Thanks, everyone. And Sally as well in the, the Thanks, window Sally. for coming to come and help us. Yeah, I can, I can, I can see that, Sally. Yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 right. So I'm heading towards you. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I believe that we've turned off the wing chat now already. Mm -hmm. uh, if we haven't, uh, do let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that it's done now. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this is this wouldn't have happened, of course, if, I hadn't uh, if you hadn't crashed, if I hadn't the ship crashed already. The, the yeah, yeah. So we had it perfectly lined up, and then yeah. I uh, broke everything. By so what we're <laughs> checking my altitude. <laughs> it's all right, Adam. Don't worry. All right. So brilliant. Are you? Uh, so have we got any questions that come through, or do you think that it is maybe moving slightly too quickly for you to? Uh, um, so far, it's been very quick. I haven't okay. caught anything. Show internals, optionals, and support. Um, I'm not in outfitting, and we're about to try and fly together, so I don't want to go back to outfitting because then. But yeah. you will be getting these ships obviously uh, next week when we launch the next uh, phase of the beta, so you can get your hands on them mm -hmm. and uh, have a fly and see uh, see what you think. Okay, so why don't you talk through a little bit about uh, have a fly around and also talk a little bit about what we've announced so far and like uh, overall because remember. Should I do a dry run of the canyon? Yeah, you, well, you can get some practice in if that's what you want to do, if you want to cheat, but sure. Um, wh why don't you tell people uh, a little bit about the kind of the, the overall stuff that's coming in this? Remember, it's the free update. If anyone who owns Elite Dangerous Horizons, Horizons all, all of this content from the last yeah. four weeks that we've shown off yeah. and the stuff that people are playing right now in the beta, which by the way, if you haven't already, if you oh. are tuning into this and you don't know about the beta, by the way, please don't kill yourself before. I get no, there. I'm going to take this easy. So, uh, I suppose running like not in order of what I said before, but one thing I've been watching a lot is the amount of content that you guys create um, from the game has kind of been quadrupled with the um, uh, lighting changes and things that you guys have been getting involved with and, and getting you 
uh, screenshot this out. This is going to be really hard for me to talk and not crash, but it's fine. Um, and it's it's quite incredible seeing the range of uh, look and feel that the game now has um, improved from what, from what we had before. Uh, and the other thing that's been really interesting, we've been talking about this connectivity about the game and the way, particularly on the exploration tools, um, aren't just for explorers, they're, they're kind of um, for everyone. And how people are finding things that aren't even necessarily new in Chapter 4. They, they've been there for a while now and they're now finding these other areas of the game that they didn't ever... Um, interact with because they weren't, you know, they, they, they weren't sure about exploration or whatever and now these tools have, have come along and, and allow people to find the geological sites and stuff really easily and they get down there and combining that with the lighting changes and stuff, we're getting incredible, incredible screenshots and uh, videos and content coming out so it's, it's quite, it's, it's, uh, it's humbling to see that what we've set out to try and do is, is it's, it's, it's doing it, it's getting all the boxes ticked. Um, the cockpit UI was particularly something I was very interested in because although it's a gr it is a great change um, and an update to the to the to the usability of the cockpit, I was very aware that people are used to a certain way of you know interacting with their cockpits. But again, so far I've only seen you know really great things about what the what the UI team have, have managed to do um, with streamlining that 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 uh, usability of that, whilst also maintaining the space for new new things coming on as well. Uh, mining, boy, that went down well on the stream last mm -hmm. last week, didn't it? Um, it was a lot of fun. And uh, again, that's that's out now in the beta two uh, that was launched yesterday, and I'm seeing lots of uh, lots of good good feedback on that so far as well. I'm trying just not to crash. It's really hard for me not to, as we all saw because I blew it up. Well, here I am. I've arrived in the in the area. I'm 38 kilometres away from you, but I am approaching nice and quickly. Um, so, tonight, as you can see above my head, we have the, uh, the crate, uh, phantom, crate Phantom, which we've shown off. Uh, above Adam's head, of course, uh, we have the Mamba, two new ships that are coming into, uh, well, for free as part of this and all the content that we've just talked about, that Adam just talked about. Uh, if, you are, if you own Elite Dangerous Horizons, then you're getting all of this stuff as part of Elite Dangerous Beyond. It's a massive amount of stuff. Please, in the chat, if you could, what is your favourite thing <coughs> about all of the updates that we're, uh, that we're yeah, given? Obviously, yeah. All of this free update, what is your what, what do you think is the best thing? What's your favourite thing? Let us know, please, because uh, it's really good to get that feedback. You don't, you, there's nowhere quite like these streams where you can get that direct and immediate feedback in the same way. So, thank you. Uh, so, Angus Pollock says, what does the new asteroid scanner actually do? Does it show high yield of any mineral or hotspot material or just new deposits? So, uh, the pulse wave analyzer will, um, excuse me, uh, highlight the new asteroids that have the new deposits on them. It won't necessarily tell you about the yield from mining lasers only about the new surface, new subsurface, and uh, the fissures one. So if you're starting to see that glowing gold, um, we're looking at balancing some of the feedback that the, 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 the analyzer does, including, like I said before, in the beginning of the stream, we're looking at the payout and the, um, the kind of yield of, of, of uh, asteroid mining as well. Um, and when you use the scanner, it's not necessarily everything that's glowing gold. There are ones if you if you watch, you'll, there'll be one that in, is in particular the the, the, the gold and yellow one, um, which obviously will cast some of its light on the other ones. But you're looking for those really gold and yellow ones. Uh, use your dev magic to show us the internals. Whoa, whoa, Edward C. Lewis. <laughs> Don't do an Adam. No, I'm not gonna do an Adam. Don't do an Adam. However, I might. Expiration and scanners. Open fire on you right now. Mining. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Duck. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, it's lawless. We're in that. That's right. So you don't do the old <laughs> get the crime on us. Right, I'm moving on. Okay, should we go for a little uh, spin down this canyon then? We'll just have a fight, I think. You want to go for a fight? I was going to try to shoot you and then see how see how things went, but you really have the strongest shields I've ever seen, clearly. Yeah. Because these are really. So what I'm trying to. What I tried to do. Oh, also chaffing as well. Okay, well this is good. This is good so far. So far the... But I think you're gonna overheat. Also, I'm I'm terrified. I'm just gonna let you crash. Oh cheeky. <laughs> Don't be that in a nasty way, I just think it genuinely is gonna happen. I, hey, hey! This isn't this isn't as close I thought this was gonna be the Mamba in a second, but 
shields down, boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> Is Adam going to explode twice? <laughs> you told me you hadn't, um, it's about the same thing. Yeah, you hadn't, you hadn't engineered your shit. That's alright, guys. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. This is the, the clash of the titans. My shields are down, your shields are down. Ooh, let's do this. Place your bets now in the chat, everybody. You're hurting me a lot at this point. How are you doing so much damage? How are you doing so much damage to me? I don't need it. I don't need a canopy. Who needs a canopy? Here's, here was, here's my secret my secret weapon that I was going to do. Is, yeah, 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 I'm out of here, I'm out of here. I haven't got anything. I'm trying to get distance. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> here we go. I'm trying to get the distance because I believe that I have engineered so I have a full larger range than you. Yeah, I didn't go for range. I did, but... Oh, I'm my thrusters are off. Good lord, Edward C. Lewis. I can, I can do this. Oh, you're too far away. You've only 28%. I've got, I'm, I'm a bit of a tank. Mm. I don't think I'm pressing that button anymore, but it seems to be just pressing itself at this point. <laughs> so stupid. Jousting. Come on. I'll have to be prepared. I'm not 70%. Am I hitting you at all? Team Adam. All I needed was one good run. All I needed, one good run. Well, Adam, you redeemed yourself there. You needed a victory after I that. I did really you need needed, a victory. You really needed a victory. Did. Right, let's get that lovely uh, external shot again of the Mamba. Uh, looking absolutely beautiful, uh, uh, you know, really the star of the show. So everybody, tell us in the chat, who, which which ship are you going to be flying when you get the chance to have your hand on both these, the Crate Phantom and the Mamba? Um, uh, well, next week sometime we'll of course have all the details about when uh, these will be available to you, uh, but just let us know. Um, so, I mean, look at that, yeah, that's it. Well done, Adam. Adam wins. Uh, Fatality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, GG. Nice time. <laughs> Nicely done. Good job. And there's my shields back online. <laughs> All right. The mamba heat's too much, people are saying. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. I did notice that the, the heat was going quite a bit. Um, I'll have a look at, I'll take my save, have a look at what my engineering was. Mm -hmm. um, we couldn't always balance it. Everything's, you know, everything's, uh, it's not, I think we've said, I didn't actually say it on this one, did I? Didn't say the caveats every stream. Nothing's, you know, all, all open for uh, balancing. Uh, like I said before, um, in the stream, uh, the mining, we're looking at balancing. The heat, we'll take a look at um, that heat generation there, see if that was right or not. Mm -hmm. well, well, you know, but once you get it in your hands as well next week, um, you play with it, you let us know about the, the feedback, and we'll, we'll balance and look and tweak. So, uh, yeah, to reiterate as well, uh, and I know I say this quite a lot, but thank you everybody so much for coming along to these streams over the last four weeks. Uh, it's been, I think, probably the, the almost the most stuff that we've ever had to show yeah. showcase off. Yeah. Uh, Elite Dangerous Beyond Chapter 4 is absolutely huge, and we're really glad that uh, a lot of you seem to be uh, really enjoying all of the features that we're adding and seem to really appreciate everything that's going into there because I know that the dev team are putting in so much hard work uh, making this possible. They're, they're still at work right now in there and that's not just me saying that, they genuinely are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, to, to make this to make this possible, like I say, everyone who owns Elite Dangerous Horizons is getting all of this content for free. Uh, we'll have a release date, pro a proper release date after the beta for you as soon as uh, as soon as possible, we'll, co uh, we'll communicate to that you as soon as possible. Um, after these live streams, of course, this is the last of the content reveal live streams. We'll, of course, be engaging with you uh, in, in lots of different ways on the streams. Hopefully, some are going to take some behind the scenes looks at some of the way that maybe the ships are designed. Uh, these are all things that I've got to get tidied up on my end, but that's a little bit of a, a little sneak peek there. Perhaps we'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. Very quickly, sorry. W. Absolutely. Raynard, Go is ahead. anyone working on fixing VR for beta? 
that as you saw with the beta one uh, beta two changelog there was a absolutely whole host of uh, vr fixes in there and um yet yeah, we're still looking at mm -hmm. other various vr issues and we'll, we'll uh, try and tidy it up as much as we can as well um so yeah look out for the next uh, changelog as well i'll be writing that up and uh sharing that with everyone very Soon. <laughs> so, Adam, you've been on a course, a live stream presentation course this last four weeks. You've been on every single one of those. I've been on every single one. Uh, and if and you remember that you've got your final exam to see if you can graduate and become a uh, fully fledged B. Going on, yeah. uh, uh, this isn't the this was in the script. You know, graduate the university. <laughs> and to do that, you have to, of course, now list all of the features that are coming in Beyond Chapter 4. You've done it tonight, but let's try it again. Nail it. Lighting, fog improvements, cockpit UI uh, improve, uh, cockpit UI usability and streamlining, uh, exploration, both the SSS, FSS mode and planet probing, the codex, commander stats, uh, archive, uh, discoveries, the knowledge base with VO narrated um, articles, um, uh, background simulation uh, improvements, the new scenarios with feedback and um, uh, direct uh, VO, uh, the localized Kovas packs, um, two new ships, <laughs> mining squadrons, uh, new mining just, tools, huge. new just extractions, just over those, two new huge. ships. You can see your lights if they're on in your ship and your <laughs> SRV. Most important. Um, squadrons, um, friends and group management uh, improvements. Mm. Uh, text chaps, tabs, system-wide ta uh, text chat as well, um, and a whole suite of fixes and uh, improvements as well. And Commander Ash Poker summarises this I nicely. I think I'm close enough. I think so. I think you did a fantastic job. Everybody, round of applause in the chat, please, for Adam Woods for doing such a great job. And thank you, everyone, once again, as Commander Ash Poker in the chat says, they don't read chat at all, smiley face. And I think that's a good, nice point to end, end on. Thank you, everyone. Uh, have a lovely... Well, have a lovely weekend, and uh, well, we'll get back to you next week on when you're going to be able to get hold of these ships for yourselves. Mm -hmm. But thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you. Thank you, everyone, for playing the beta as well. Um, yeah. Please do keep keep jumping in and flying and uh, doing all the things you're doing, and let us know how you feel and what, and what uh, what's going on. Thank you. Bye bye.